Hello, Marcus Tucker. Hi, I'm looking for a shepherd's pie that's made with ground lamb. Do you guys use lamb or beef? Um, beef. Okay, all right. Well, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Is your shepherd's pie, is it made with ground beef or with ground lamb? Do you guys have shepherd's pie there? We do. Do y'all make it with lamb or beef? I'm oh, sorry? Do y'all make it with ground lamb or ground beef? Uh, we do it with beef. Hey, I'm looking for a shepherd's pie that has ground lamb. Do you guys use lamb or beef in the shepherd's pie? No, we use beef. Costas Lozano is here with another awesome cooking video. It's March, spring is in the air, and that means St. Patty's Day is right around the corner. We like to tip our hats off to the Irish. My, my grandmother, my grandfather is Irish on my mom's side. For me to kind of give back to that side of the culture, thus my complexion. But what's really sad is the Metroplex has all of these amazing Irish restaurants, none of which make a proper shepherd's pie they all make it with ground beef instead of ground lamb, which is so sad because that's what makes a shepherd's pie a shepherd's pie. A Greek restaurant owner is gonna know all about fantastic lambs. We're gonna teach these Irish restaurants the proper shepherd's pie. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a proper shepherd's pie. Stay tuned. Let's start with our first step, which is gonna to be to dice up some carrots and a little bit of onion. One thing I like to add to my shepherd's pie is a little bit of rutabaga, really similar to a turnip. It just adds a little bit more texture and dynamic to the dish. We're also going to need two cloves of garlic. For our shepherd's pie, we're gonna use some fresh thyme and fresh rosemary. Chef tip on how to get the rosemary sprigs off of the stem, instead of plucking one at a time, you can actually flip the rosemary upside down, stick your fingers on it, and pull, pull back, and they will all fall off the stem. See, just like that. Same thing with the thyme. Gently hold the stem and just pull back, and those leaves will fall right off. Be careful with the, with the aromatics because they can overpower the dish. So just a little bit will go a long way. If you like more rosemary and thyme, you're the shepherd of your pie. Make it how you want. <laughs> I have some artisan Parmesan cheese as well that we are going to be putting into our mashed potatoes. I'm gonna grate this up, about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now it's time for the main event. Now it's time to really call this a shepherd's pie. I have from the restaurant one pound of New Zealand imported leg of lamb that we actually grind freshly at the restaurant for you guys. So you're getting not only lamb, you're getting quality leg of lamb. If you know about ground meats at all, you know it's always like the leftover meats, leftover cuts, but you're getting a fresh grind in every casserole and every shepherd's pie at Opa Greek Tavern. By the way, this step is totally unnecessary if you make it from home. If you go to your local boutique grocer, they're gonna have already like a pound of ground lamb made for you. So you don't have to go out and, and purchase the meat grinder for the KitchenAid. If you want to, I will leave a link to it below so you can find out about it and get one yourself. It's really fun because you can do combination grinds, so you can do a little bit of beef, a little bit of lamb. If you wanna get some bison, you can do some bison and, and beef. However you wanna do it, it's really fun just to play with different things. If you're making meatballs, you know, you can do some like ground pork and ground beef or ground turkey. Anyway, the combinations are endless. So I definitely, if you enjoy making different ground meats, check that out, you're gonna love it. Are you guys ready for this? I'm excited, I'm so excited. Are you guys ready for this? All right. Here goes. All right, and that, that is called fresh lamb right there. For a shepherd's pie, 
ground lamb. So I'm sorry, I'm just like beating that to death because it makes me so upset that like restaurants don't use lamb for their shepherd's pie. Blanche these rutabagas. I wanna let this ground lamb cook for a little bit before I start moving it around so I can add some color to the meat, let it sear off a little bit on the bottom before I start shaking it around everywhere. Salt and pepper goes into the lamb. To the fawn, the leftover lamb imprint that's at the bottom of our pan, we're gonna add our onions and carrots. We're just gonna cook these down, soften them up a little bit. I'm gonna add that fresh thyme and rosemary that we chopped up earlier. A tablespoon of tomato paste. I wanna cook that in there. I like to add the tomato paste sooner than later. That way it just cooks out a little bit of the harshness from the tomato paste. To this, we're gonna add half a cup of Guinness Blonde. I'm gonna let this beer reduce down a little bit. Throw in my garlic. Add back the freshly ground lamb. I ended up going for 11 ounces of Guinness just to give it a little bit more sauciness to it. Next thing I wanna to add to this is a little Worcestershire sauce. I also wanted to add a touch of flour just to thicken it up a bit. So in goes half my cup of chicken stock. I'm gonna cook this chicken stock down and allow it to thicken up. I'm gonna add a handful of that rutabaga that I blanched, that I over blanched, I'm not gonna lie, over blanched it, but it's okay. That's a mistake there. If you do overcook it, you're not gonna have that bite that you want from the rutabaga. Also gonna add in a handful of frozen peas. Okay, now it's time for the mashed potato topping on our shepherd's pie. I just got done boiling some red potatoes. Skin on, I don't like taking the skin off. Add those to a bowl. And we're gonna give these a good mashing. I don't like to puree the potatoes. I like to have some texture to the potatoes. One last thing I like to do, just add a little bit more creaminess, is add two egg yolks to the potatoes. Only thing left to do now is put these in our casserole dishes. Put about halfway up with the meat filling. Add our Parmesan mashed potatoes. Secret, secret weapon here is gonna be my extra large pastry bag that I'm actually gonna pipe my mashed potatoes on top of my casserole dishes. These are gonna make them look so beautiful when they come out of the oven. Obviously this is going above and beyond. This is professional restaurant quality mashed potato presentation, but if you wanna order one of these bags, I will put a link again below this video. You can check it out. I put the potatoes in my piping bag. Now I'm just gonna do is just make little dollops all on top of the shepherd's pie. The last thing we're gonna do is add some Kerrygold iris cheddar sprinkled on top. So I'm just gonna give it a light dusting. All right guys, the very last step in our long process of making the perfect shepherd's pie is to place these into a 350 degree preheated oven for about 25, 30 minutes. They're gonna come out nice and golden. That Irish cheddar cheese is gonna be melted on top. It's gonna be magnificent. Let's look at it. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Beautifully browned on top. Wow, that's amazing. Let me get the other one out. One pound of lamb makes about three shepherd's pies, a third pound each. And there you have it. That is gonna be our featured entree for the month of March. Definitely come in and try it. It's gonna be a fantastic dish. Bro, you know what it's missing though? What's up? What's up, Justin? Guinness Blonde. Guinness there Blonde. Cheers. Cheers, man. It's a perfect pair. You know, that's a great idea. In fact, for the month of March, we're actually gonna be featuring the Guinness Blonde at the restaurant. It's a fantastic beer. It's got American hops, American barley, but it's got the uh, Guinness Irish yeast 
in the beer. So a little bit of American, a little bit of Irish in a Greek restaurant. Mm. What do you think, man? First time having it, it's really good. There you go. I'm sure it pairs very well. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below all the things. Come in to Opa Greek Tavern. If you guys are in the area, we would love to serve you. If you guys don't want to let me make this for you, I'm gonna leave a full recipe below so you can check that out, make it for yourself. I promise you, you're gonna love it. You're gonna make some people really impressed with this amazing classic Irish dish. Make sure you're using lamb though. Yeah.